Safety consciousness is very important in the prevention of accidents in all industrial operations. Safety consciousness may be defined as awareness of hazards and alertness to danger. No two people are exactly alike in personality and character nor do they have the same attitudes toward safety. Safety consciousness must be developed in people. Development of proper attitudes depends upon the individual. The following scenes show parents talking to their sons, two different individuals who are getting ready to go out. Have a good time at the party, Mike. Take care of your brother and be careful driving. Be back home at midnight, okay? Jeff? You heard your father. Come home with Mike. Oh, come on, Mom. You're always talking to me like I'm a baby. I'm old enough to take care of myself and know when to come home. Okay, Jeff. You've been told when you're expected back. If you can't understand, maybe you should stay home. Okay. <laughs> Just as Jim and Pete have different attitudes and react differently to instructions, a workman also has a different individual attitude, good or bad, towards safety and accepts instructions in a different manner than his buddy. Al Johnson had a good attitude towards safety, but needed further training. He was eager to learn about the hazards connected with his job and readily accepted safety instructions from his supervisors. Herman Smith had a bad attitude towards safety. For example, he thought it was a waste of time to shut down his machine before removing the gear guards, and he also thought that he could lubricate the gears while they were in motion. His supervisor had cautioned him many times about these hazardous practices. One day, Herman was lubricating the gears of a power saw while it was running, when his hand suddenly caught between the gears. The result, he lost several fingers on his right hand. This will be a constant reminder of his disregard for safety precautions. Basically, there is very little difference between today's workers and those of past years. However, modern machinery, changing environment, improved education, and increased leisure time have made profound changes in the general attitude of today's workmen. Men living under today's modern conditions require a considerable amount of self-discipline for the development of safe work attitudes. Quite often, they will resent anything which might interfere with the pursuit of their recreational activities or hobbies. They like to devote almost as much time to outside activities as they do to their jobs. When the job becomes of secondary importance, it leads to haste on the part of workmen. This, in turn, induces them to finish assignments in a hurry and to take shortcuts. These workmen neglected to install the frame ground on an electric motor back at the plant. In their hurry to go hunting, both men showed a disregard for safety by not completing the job or doing it correctly. The unsafe attitude displayed by these men could have caused a serious accident. A fellow workman could have been electrocuted. <laughs> to 
To develop and maintain safety consciousness, we must keep up proper safety training and education. Today's jobs demand safe attitudes and cooperation in safe work practices. Safe attitudes stimulate people to show respect for the other fellow. They make us more safety conscious. On the other hand, unsafe attitudes which create hazards are usually the result of improper safety training. Often the new man receives most of his training from an older and more experienced workman. But what if the experienced workman has never practiced safety? What will he teach the new man? The new man will probably follow the examples of his instructor and develop unsafe work methods. Every new employee should be indoctrinated with safety consciousness. This is best accomplished by proper training from a qualified instructor. To prevent accidents, modern mechanized plants and mines require constant mental alertness on the part of all employees. The lack of alertness can often lead to accidents, especially when an employee permits his mind to wander, a condition better known as daydreaming. Three, three, bases loaded, two out. Here comes the next pitch. There's a long drive to left field, going, going. It's a home run. Disregard for safety is often the result of frustration. A frustrated person is accident prone. How often do we encounter workmen who say, I'll get heck if I do, and I'll get heck if I don't. Frustration is an enemy of safety. This type of mental attitude may often be apparent to one's co-workers and friends. In a case like that, a frank discussion with them may be quite beneficial to the frustrated person. Proper advice can be helpful. Just having a good listener may sometimes solve the problem. Every person has problems. Some may be easy to solve, others may require consultations with friends or family, and some may even require professional help. Often, circumstances present us with problems of a more serious nature, such as financial difficulties and family illness. These cannot be overcome so quickly and easily. When a workman's mind is preoccupied with a personal problem, his job safety consciousness suffers. When this happens, he must make a special effort to have a safe attitude for the sake of his own safety and the safety of his fellow workers. Selling safety may sometimes be difficult, some workmen think they already know all there is to know about safety and don't want to be bothered again. These workers must be encouraged to change their attitudes. They must be shown the benefits they obtain by changing their attitudes about safety, not only at work, but also off the job and in the home. Remember, you, yes you, must develop a safe attitude and maintain consciousness in safety so that you are able to obtain and enjoy the benefits from your job and provide for the welfare of your loved ones.